one of my favourite parts of the Chinese auto show is the weird and wonderful stuff that you just don't get anywhere else. So here's a pick of some of my favourites. Starting with this, Greased Lightning meets Rolls Royce. Fabulously grotesque. Chinese maker Dong Feng also make cars with Peugeot here in China. Can't think where they get the uh, inspiration for this one. Can you? Maybe they can. No idea exactly what this little thing is, but uh, anyone say I go? This is the BYD Build Your Dreams S7. Whiff of uh, Thatcher Duster about that one. A whiff of Honda Accord about that one. And a whiff of uh, we haven't quite finished that one. Here's a car that must be so ugly they've uh, faced it straight at a wall. So uh, let's just go and have a look, shall we? Oh dear. Face only a mother could love. Suzuki has a concept here in Shanghai too, uh, following the Chinese tradition of having some rather silly names for their cars. This is the Suzuki Authentic in gold. Always believe in your soul. You've got the power to know. Your indestructible rule. Always believe in gold. SUVs are pretty popular, um, so uh, why not just copy one? They've even got the uh, oh, three tires. They've even got the cheek to play some. French style music with this uh, Twizy esque car. The lights of an Audi A6 and the grill of a very cheap Jaguar on the body of um, well, quite short, but so what about that lady in the background? Uh, it's a little bit loud. That seems to be another theme the Shanghai Motor Show. The louder you are, the better you are, right? Mm, not sure. This one came straight out of the draw mark, not the Jaguar F-Type. Although, hang on a minute. Does this remind you of anything? Yep, I thought it was an A-Class until uh, I realised it's actually a horrible little car with a boot on the back. Remember this, the Rover 75, now built and sold in China as the Rory 750 with hybrid power. I have absolutely no idea what this car is, but all I know is these people are very, very funny. Just remember, they are getting paid for this. The Chinese are quite fond of their copycat cars, and there's a few around. Um, I might mention this to uh, Peugeot's chief designer, Gilles Vidal, just to see what he thinks of this. 3008, perhaps? And if that was the 3008, this car is the love child of the 5008 and the Master 5. What a lovely car. Yes, the good old London taxi, that's out here as well, owned these days by company Healy, which also owns Volvo. Ah, my favourite. I knew I'd find it somewhere. Where on earth did they get the inspiration for this? Hello. Thank you. No idea what this little thing is, but anyone say I go? Anyone who say out of the way, please? Remember this, the Rover 75, now sold and built in China as the Rowe 750. Thank you, sir. SUVs are... Uh, hey! Volkswagen's Cross Blue Concept... Ah, hello. Volkswagen's Cross Blue Concept is another sporty... Oh, thank you very much. I'm in the... Skoda Superb is a big hit here in China because people like to be driven. He's going to walk straight in front of me. Excuse me, excuse me. Thank you guys. Just ignore me. Bye.